Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I just want to walk through a couple of reports here. Now, I've been saying, uh, I've been talking a, a lot in recent times about our challenges because I think they're just so awesome uh, and we're just seeing some amazing submissions. And I keep um, saying, well, if you have access to a platform, you can download these, you can actually see the models uh, and, and leverage off them, really scale your own reporting based on the techniques that have been placed into a lot of these amazing submissions. Now, what I thought I would do though is just walk through some of the tips I have around actually working out how a report works. Because some of these reports have so many additional features added into them and have um, had uh, visualization experiences created in such unique ways that sometimes it's not immediately obvious how these are actually created and how you can use these yourself. So the idea behind this video is just to walk through how I would do it and how I think you can leverage off these particular reports um, as well to learn the techniques and, and, and really showcase them in your own designs um, as, as well. You know, the big thing about these amazing challenge submissions and some of the work um, done by those in the enterprise DNA community uh, is that um, they are easily repurposed in any environment, right? It's just, it's just understanding the technique and pulling down on that technique when you need it when you want to showcase something interesting. You don't need to create reports that look exactly the same, but there's always great things that you can uh, take from, you can be inspired um, from, that you can use in your own um, in your own reports, okay? So the first thing that I do, this is a, this is a great um, a submission from uh, what's called the JMAP team, so a range of experts get together and they participate in the challenge together, and this was a combined effort, and this was on COVID-19. Um, it, was, it was a few months ago, a few months ago, probably closer to the start of this year, um, but the first thing that I do when I look at this is I look at the report pages, okay? Because you have to understand how the overall architecture of the report is completed, okay? So, um, I mean, you could, you could almost actually go to the model first, like go to the model and see how the model is actually structured. But usually I would say, you, you know, you're mostly trying to steal visualization ideas, right? Navigation ideas. So there's not too much that can be discovered here. If I'm trying to understand how they've built like a lot of this amazing navigation into their report, like things like where you can navigate um, here, so they've got say up here an image where you can navigate to um, a different um, a different look in your report, right? I'm trying to understand, okay, how do they actually do this? My my uh, well, intuitively, I, I need to think, okay, well, it's probably because they've built an, built another page that looks exactly the same, just with with a different filter placed on it, so that it. Um, feel, looks like it, the page is being filtered when you select a visualization, right? And that's exactly what um, what has been done here. So I quickly just have a look through all of the different pages. Um, this this is quite a comprehensive report, so it's a little bit slower than 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 other reports out there. Also, with t the the ability to create tool tips now, you want to understand, okay, well, what are the tool tips that have been created, and what what insights are uh, being shown in the tool tips, right? So these are all um, all the tool tips that were created for this particular report. Um, another thing you can do for tooltips, by the way, uh, is this, is that you can actually go up here into view and to actually have a look at what it looks like or what it's going to look like in the report. If you go actual size, that is actually what it's going to look um, when it actually comes up in the report. Now, you can see here, one of the other interesting uh, techniques used here is that all of these pages are hidden, right? And that's what I really recommend doing. Um, with all your reports to make them more, look more like applications and utilizing say a front page to be the navigation the, the way that you navigate through all of those sub pages right or, or this is sort of like the initial look and then you can easily navigate by selecting certain things okay so the first thing you have to do is to look through all the pages really become familiar with all of the pages that have been built architected into this reporting application the next thing that I would do is um, oh, is I was have a have, have a look around and sort of see where all of these pages are in, in integrated into the core report, right? And so there's I know there's a little icon here, which um, if I select it, it will bring up um, some details. I also know that there's some tooltips here. If I hover over, these will show up, right? And really, re really interesting tooltips. Um, these ones, really interesting designs. And so my idea is 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 to ha understand how those are actually created. Okay, to understand how like a lot of these things are created, the idea is that you, you, you need to click on, actually click on the visual, click on the visual, and then um, in the parameter area or in the formatting area, you'll always find all of the options for that particular visualization, right? And then it's about 
understanding okay well what visual what what formats have been placed on a particular visual okay so this this to me looks like it's a um it looks like it is a um like a shape almost it's like a or, or like a button it's a button right and so this button is enabling me to click into um into different areas of my application and I presume if we have a look at this action, if I come and have a look down here, it's a page navigation. It's got an action of page navigation, and it takes me to the chloropleth recovered, which is this particular uh, this particular um, uh, report page here. Okay, so I'm starting as I click around. I'm starting to get, become more familiar with how these things are actually appearing. So if I click on this one, I see that this is a page navigation, and it's got a different destination. You see here that on the actions parameter there's or the actions format you can do lots of different things right you can do um, page navigation you can do drill through bookmarks so on and so forth okay so that's my second tip there um, also uh, the next one the next thing that I'll do so there's a few a few things that we we walk through there um, here's another great tool tip right and so the idea is that okay if we if we find these are our key tool tips we were, we were able to quickly identify by looking through those pages initially um, how those are actually appearing on the report the next thing that I, I would do is I would look at the bookmarks, okay? Because bookmarks enable a lot of great navigation features, okay? And so you see here that there's a range of different bookmarks embedded into this report. So if I click through these bookmarks, I should be able to see what they're actually doing. Okay, so this one, for example, is um, taking me to a different page, I think. And bookmarks are, a, are, are an amazingly flexible feature, right? So a lot of these, the, a lot of these actions, a lot of these, the sort of click here and click here, or a lot of the views that we're seeing, a lot of the views that you're seeing, particularly say um, with this icon, right? This is a, a, it is bringing up a bookmark. So these these images that are showing up when we click on something, they are actually. A, an image which is sitting say in behind this page and then when we click on it it is enacting this bookmark okay and so for example if I click this now let's have a look at what action this particular image is um, has got right so it's got an action bookmark show our results death okay so understanding how all of these bookmarks actually work gives you immense flexibility around how you show how how your how you shape the story in your particular report right so I can also clear filter as well. So a lot of these bookmarks, I think, are actually centered around, a lot. most of them are actually centered around this particular icon right here, which is quite interesting, right? The fact that you need to have many different states um, for when someone actually clicks this in a particular report. Also, another um, key thing to have a look at is the selection, the selection pane here, okay? So you click on this, and you'll see here that this sort of shows all the different elements in a particular report page and how when different bookmarks are selected these will all change okay so i can click on say this and this selection order the the, the selections within here will generally change a little bit because of what shows and what doesn't right so you see here that this now appears but when i click on say this it will disappear and it's basically because this selection box has been changed right or the select the selection line item has been changed this particular element within my report has been changed and that's how you can um, play around with different aspects like to show certain things and not show certain things and when certain things are selected right so so many like hopefully you can see there's like so many different ways you can um play around with that okay so those are some of the look those are some of the main things those are some of the key things it's not 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 too complicated it's just understanding how each of these elements interact together and that's how um, you can create so many different looks and feels to your reporting applications okay here's another one here's another one so this is another great design um, from a submission from gusto this was from power bi challenge 14 and so you see here that we've got a um you know a pretty um neat uh, layout um with all data around i think this is emergency services data and th th i guess the main thing here is how we created this timeline right so the key thing i do first is like let's have a look at all the different pages okay let's have a look at what pages have been embedded and and hidden in here you see these are all hidden as well and so it looks like on different pages we're being taken to different tabs right so the um way that we um like so intuitively this to me is again very similar to what we had before where someone selects like a button or or a shape and we get taken to a different page you know the, the page navigation takes us to a different page even though it look it looks quite similar it is um it is a completely different page with different insights on it 
a lot of the inside like a lot of the filters etc are exactly the same some of the some of the looks and feels are, are exactly the same um this looks like to me is is probably possibly a bookmark unless it takes you to a different page let's have a look here no okay so this is this again this there's, there's bookmarks here as I as I work as I work through all of these pages here within within this um, page three or within this tab we've got again a range of different pages that we can go to too and um, even though it, look, it looks like it's the same page right it's actually a different page so beautiful design and as, I, as I've done this over and over I've become more familiar with how, um, how how these actually work but you know first of all I look at the pages right pages is what I look at first then um, then I come to um, say a different page I start clicking on visualizations trying to understand okay what has been embedded in these visualizations um, in this particular case if I click up here this is probably a button and this is probably an action which it's a book it's a bookmark by the way this one's a bookmark that takes me to timeline main um, timeline main okay so then I need to have a look at my bookmarks so I go view and I go bookmarks and you'll see here that there's a range of different bookmarks here Okay, and so I can start then selecting through my bookmarks and sort of seeing where they actually lead me in my particular report. Okay, and so all of these all of these bookmarks look look a lot like their sort of navigation bookmarks, uh, and all of the different actions of these visualizations are um, basically these bookmarks, right? So we're being led around by bookmarks. That's how you create that seamless um, that seamless web based application flow for the consumer. Then I have a look at selections, and maybe there's not as much done here, not as much manipulation. Maybe it's all all basically done with bookmarks in this particular case. Cool. Okay, so that's it. Those are my those are my tips. Um, these this is how you can really understand and learn what others are doing, and that's how you're gonna you know. And, and I have no doubt in my mind that's how you're gonna improve, right? That's how you're going to improve your own abilities um, with with power bi is by taking the opportunity to to learn and leverage off others um, and through um, obviously through our platform we make a tremendous amount of um, of these showcases available so we have our power bi showcase which includes our own internally built showcases but all all of the showcases that are being submitted into power bi challenges and um, from our from our amazing group of experts in our community as well so you can actually see underneath the hood of how these models are actually developed Okay, that's all I wanted to cover. Hopefully, um, hopefully that was informative. Hopefully, um, you're excited by what you see, and and hopefully you can leverage off these as well. I really want you to. You know, I personally myself learn have learned so much from reviewing what others have done, and um, have looked to wherever I can uh, create um, you know, create those looks in my own challenges and my own report designs that I've created. Okay, all the very best. Look forward to next time. Talk to you soon. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, Check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.